Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're going to be modifying our tank. This is a tank that we actually ended up building last time, and honestly, it is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing that let it down is obviously the uh, the turrets being on the side. Um, it actually didn't end up being very good at all, so uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to modify this. We're going to build a turret on the top, we're going to redesign the top end, and also this little bit back here as well. Hopefully, uh, with a new turret on the top of this, uh, we'll be able to do a really good job. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so let's get straight to it, shall we? We gotta go to mobility, we gotta go to engine, we gotta get rid of these guys, we also gotta get rid of these guys, and get rid of those guys too. We can then go to compartments, go to this guy, extend it backwards, um, and squidge it. <laughs> We're gonna send it backwards and squidge it a little bit more, and essentially this is just gonna keep going backwards, and keep getting squidged, and hopefully, by the end, um, we'll have something cool. I'm, I'm assuming we will, anyway. So we're going to keep this going backwards, just like so. Uh, all the way to about there. And that actually looks pretty good to me. Nice. Okay, so next thing, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. They are unnecessary. They don't need to be there. Uh, and then we're going to go to compartments. Yes. We're going to go to turrets. We're going to grab one of these and try and fit it so that it fits directly in the middle of this. Um, essentially, so somewhat like that. There we go. I know it's a little bit strange, uh, but hopefully this works. We're going to make it slightly smaller. We're going to bring it further backwards and leave it just there. That's actually, this is going to work out. Also, side note, uh, if you guys do hear an echo in the background, sorry, my room is pretty much empty right now and that is why it is echoing. But um, uh, <laughs> hopefully in the future, it will get a little bit better, which uh, I know that it will. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and keep building. Let's go. So... Uh, I'm going to make this bit very round, okay, like uh, like we always do, essentially. Uh, there you go. So, extremely round right there. We're going to do the same thing on the side, make it as round as possible. And then this thing's going to get even smaller, so we're going to squidge this down, um, and it's going to be great. It is going to be great! So, move this into there, do it one more time, squidgy, squidgy. There we go, and squidge it this way, uh, if possible. There we go, nice. We're then going to have to do it on the front as well, so I'm going to quickly do that, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. And there we go! Okay, so we should be able to grab all of the pieces up here, all the way across to the other side, and essentially just squidge this all the way down like so. If you're wondering why we're doing that, we need to figure out what kind of turret we want, uh, and I kind of want a turret where we attach these turrets to the side. Now that was something that was suggested, so um, that was a really cool suggestion, uh, adding these turrets to this. That's um, it's quite an interesting idea. Okay, so what we're going to do next is actually grab all of these guys and we're going to squidge those in, which is um, very strange. We're then going to bring this up uh, and we're going to actually send it straight up like this, um, which again is very weird, but hopefully ends up being quite cool. And then we should be able to grab these turrets on the side, smack them on there, and um, yeah, that'd be very weird, but kind of interesting. Okay, so I've grabbed it, and we're going to go ahead and shove it straight onto here, if I can. I don't know uh, where exactly I want it to go, but I think around here like this. We're going to go ahead and put it in line with that if we can, and then we're going to go ahead and round it so that it goes forwards, and that will be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's so strange. I love it, though. Okay, so now we go to this one. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Yes, go ahead and select it if I possibly can. It, it's kind of difficult to select some of these sometimes. Um, there we go, we got it. We got it eventually, but that's that's nice. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and try and sort it out to where it needs to go, which I believe is about there. We're going to go ahead and angle it forwards just like so. And that's pretty cool, yes. Okay, nice. Okay, also, I did think the side was a little bit too flat. So what we're going to do as well is actually extend this guy out like this. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a, a nicer shape to it. And um, I think it actually looks pretty good. We're also then going to go to this guy, uh, this guy, and also that guy all the way at the end. And we're going to squidge those in a little bit more. There we go. Nice. Okay, so unfortunately that does mean that we need to work on some other things up here as well. Uh, crew, yes, we need a commander's cupola to go on here. We're going to squidge it down so that it fits directly in the center. And we will actually have a machine gun up there too, just because we can. So that's going to go right there in the middle. <laughs> that is, I mean, it's an interesting idea. It's like a... Um, it's like a conning tower for submarine. I like it though. It's quite cool. Okay, so some of the next things we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and move this guy up to there. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys actually down. Hang on, let's grab this. Oh, okay. Actually, I think we're missing one. 
I don't know where it is, but I think we are actually missing one of these. So we're actually probably just going to go with two of these. Try and smack that on to their, like, this, I guess. There we go. And I think that works out. Nice. Alright, so, there are a few things that need to change now then. We need to go to this, and we need the basket space to be actually big enough to fit two turrets on it, which is kind of insane, but yes. Um, we then need to fit the crew into said turrets. So, uh, let's do that, shall we? This guy needs to go into there, okay, and then this guy needs to go into there, and those guns now work. Okay, fantastic. Do we also want to go back to this? And make it smooth? I think we should. There we go. <laughs> hey, that is weird. That is very, very weird. I like it, though. Okay, so what are the next things that we can do then? Hugh, uh, let's go ahead and make this thing a different color, I think. So brightness, actually, all the way down. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, kind of gray is what I want. That looks interesting. I think that might work, actually. Uh, we're then going to grab this guy and... Move it down slightly. Oh, not that. The whole thing. I want to move the whole turret so that it is backwards a tiny touch and then down actually a good chunk. There we go. So I need to do the same thing right here. So backwards a touch and then down a chunk. Like that? Is that about right? They're in a different place. There. There. Uh, about there? Yeah, there we go. So you can't actually get them quite in the right places, but that looks okay to me. Okay, so now that we've done that then, let's go ahead and do something slightly different also. It's uh, actually adding a little gun, like a tiny gun, right here in the center that is going to go right there. And the main reason for me doing this is actually so that I could add a, a viewport so that we can actually shoot properly. At the minute, we're not able to actually shoot properly, so there you go. View site right in the middle, that's fine. Uh, we obviously need another gunner in that situation, so let's do another gunner. And another loader. Okay, gunner loader. Okay, and then we need more room. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, but yeah, we need more room for that. So, how do we go about doing that? I don't know. I'm going to quickly do it though, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so there we go. There are the changes right there. So, hopefully now, when we actually aim the guns, uh, we can aim all three guns at the same place. And there we go. Yes, they all actually work. That's fantastic. Uh, the only other thing that we desperately need then is actually an ammo rack inside this one so that we could actually shoot the ammo off uh, if possible. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll try and put it inside the gun itself and that's pretty good. We're then going to get some extra ammo and whack it in right here just in case we need to because, again, we can. So there we go. Nice. Um, I guess there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to go to faces, select all of the faces and give it armor. Yeah, because at the minute it doesn't have any armor. So, that's good. <laughs> the only problem that we got with that then, is that it takes up too much room? It takes up far too much room. So, yeah, if we can, we need to figure out how to get rid of some of the space in here, so that we can actually have all of the people in there, and all of it actually working. So if we do all of this, what we can then do is go to these guys, go to basket space of this, make it less. There we go, 103, and then on this side, 1.03 Bosh! There we go. Everything fits. Everything fits! Yeah! Nice! Okay, this is totally gonna work. I'm so happy. Okay, so we did it. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, I feel like there is some sort of situation going on with it, and uh, they're all struggling to know where they're actually gonna shoot. Uh, it thinks that the gunner in there actually needs to be the gunner in here, the gunner in here needs to be the gunner in there. Um, but it doesn't make any sense because it's all correct. As you guys can see, the commander is in the center, and they're firing turret 1, and they are also loading turret 1. So, the loader is on the right gun, the gunner should be on the right gun, but it just isn't. So there's, there's something going on there, but that's fine. Anyway, now that that's happened, um, we're actually ready for war. We, we, can, we can use this. Alright, here we go guys, we are actually in the battle now, there is 4 tanks on my team versus 13 on the enemies, but that's okay, because we have 3 guns! I wish I could fire them all independently, I suppose I could, I could fire them all independently, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get in there, and uh, we're gonna hopefully do some damage, um, and hopefully not get shot in the back, because it's likely to happen, <laughs> it, is, it is definitely likely to happen, but anyway, we're on our way in, Let's get ourselves in a defensible position and shoot the enemies as they come. Okay, there's one right there. Uh, it missed. 
Line our guns up if we can. In fact, shoot this guy instead. Why did I only fire off one gun? Why is it only firing off one gun? I am extremely confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. Why is it only firing one? That guy's dead. My other tanks are firing all of them, but this one is not firing at all. Oh, yikes. Okay, line up on the tank. I'm confused. Okay, I'm going to restart. My other guys were actually doing a really good job there. Um, but I actually need to go to firepower, and I need these guns to be on one. And they all need to fire at the same time, otherwise I'm going to struggle like crazy. So let's go ahead and save this. Yep, and off we go. Charge the enemy! Excuse me, why has he just stopped in front of me? Get out of the way, let's go. So there are four of us versus 14 enemies. We fire all of our shots at once from each of the guns, which is um, not very efficient, I would say. But uh, we're going to go in there anyway and hopefully do our job. Um, it is worth mentioning as well, we do have 229 litres of fuel. That's more than I expected to have, but I guess we do have a bunch of barrels on the back. So I suppose it makes a little bit of sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and sit right here, try and line up this target. Three, two, one. I missed with every single one of those, I do believe. <laughs> That's not good, so let's wait for this guy. I missed again. Okay, fantastic. It's not going well for me so far. <laughs> it's really not, actually. Alright, turn the turret around, here we go. Line up. Three, two, one. All right, we killed him. Nice. You're next. Let's go. The uh, the guns reload at different times. That's not fantastic, but sure. The guns don't actually go through these sometimes as well. All right, we're going to move in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. I just got annihilated. I just got annihilated. That's, that's a big yikes. Okay, well... Keep going in. Come on. There must be some, like, severe weak spot on this. I don't know where it is, but uh, there's something, because that guy just fully exploded as well. Um, just like this one did. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to hide uh, down here behind the tracks. And we're going to shoot them from here. Hopefully, we'll be safe. I think we will. But you never know. Are they in the right place? There we go, we got it, nice, that's good. All right, there's another guy right there. Let's wait for a reload, and then three, two, one. We didn't quite kill him, we need to fire again. Reload! Keep reloading! Fire! Oh, he didn't go through again, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, I wanna shoot it inside if we can. Please turn. The other way, oh, I. that was a yikes. I fully missed that. Come on, go through. I can't get through its armor. This is no good. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay, that didn't go through. Those didn't go through. It's not happening. All right, is that an enemy over there? Let's see. Right, is that guy alive? I don't know whether that guy's alive. I'm going to try and get over this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Straight up and over. Nice. Nice. Let's make our way in. We might be able to shoot this guy in the side, maybe. Uh, which would be excellent, because he's not dying any other way. He's turning his gun. I just missed every single one of those. <laughs> All of them went in different directions around the enemy. Okay, let's face the enemy. Oh my goodness, that went straight through. How? How did he manage that? Okay, hang on. Aim! Fire! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> fire! No, that didn't work either. Oh, yikes. Okay, so, uh, the, the issue we're running into here, I believe, maybe, possibly, is that my guns aren't actually very good. So, we're going to increase the propellant length to be 275. There we go. Because the penetration on them isn't actually very high. Um, actually, let's go with 450. That's quite big. That is quite big. And then we'll add another one of these. We'll lower it down. Actually, no, we won't. So we'll do 450, and then we need a 66. Uh, 450. 
And then we need to add one, which is 0.66. There we go. And then do it again. Here we go. So 450. Add another one. 0.66. There we go. Okay, I mean, that's pretty crazy. I don't know whether the ammunition is actually going to be able to fit in these turrets anymore. Uh, in fact, they don't. So that's no good. But we might be able to just about fit it in, I guess. All right, I'm going to figure out a way to do this. Because I think there's a way of fitting them. I think there is. Okie dokie, ammunition is in. There is still four of our tanks versus the enemy. And honestly, I think we're going to do much better this time. Much, much better. So, 12 enemies, four of our tanks. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Okay, they are firing rounds in. We need to watch out. Okay, here we go. Smash down this other tree. Excellent, eh? Yes. Okay, one of them's dead. I did just take a shot and stopped. Like, something hit me and I, it stopped my entire tank. That's insane. But okay, they're dying every time we shoot them, so that's good. This guy hopefully will die as well. Aim and fire. There we go. Yes, okay, we can get through their armor now. We can actually kill them now. Okay, someone's shooting from over there. All the way over there? Oh yeah, I see you. I see you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot him. Yep, I got him. Nice, let's continue. Hey, guys, we've done it. We've built something that actually works this time. Nice. Okay, seven enemies remaining. Let's get ourselves in there. We should be able to take them all out, hopefully very easily. Uh, I mean, at least that's the plan. I don't know whether it's actually going to work, though. Okay, let's go over here. I can't see them yet. Not yet. Okay, still can't see them. My guy is having a 1v1 at the minute. Okay, but he's fine. Okay, that's okay. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's another enemy coming up over this hill. We need to watch out for them. Because if I get shot from above, I will die. I'll just die, and that's no good. It all bounced off. No way, my, my round landed back on the enemy. <laughs> okay, he's just driving away now. That's good. All right, let's shoot this guy instead. Their turrets are very round. I can't actually seem to get through them. Maybe I need some APHE rounds, actually. I can't get through the M24s. I feel like this one should be the easier one to get through, but never mind. All right, let's continue forwards. He's turning around. There we go, nice. If they if they show me their weak side, they die. That guy didn't die. <laughs> okay, he's showing me his weak side though. There we go, nice. As soon as we get to shoot them in the side, they're dead. So that's fantastic. Alright, let's continue forwards. We need to remember there is an enemy on the left somewhere. And then there's these guys on the right. There are five enemies remaining. Okay, I'm going to reverse because that guy can shoot me. Oh, they're all shooting me. They are all shooting me. Stop, please. <laughs> and none of them are showing me their weak side. No, this isn't good. I can't get through them. This is ridiculous. Okay, turn around. We'll shoot this one. Here we go. I don't even know if he's showing me his weak side. I don't think he is. I can't get through their armor, guys. Oh, that guy is on fire. Okay, that's fair. He's actually on fire. Now he's not. But he's dead now. Okay. Here we go. We're going to focus these two. Hopefully my friendlies focus the ones behind me. Because I am getting shot in the back. Alright, yes. One of them's dead. Nice. Continuing. That guy's dead. Okay. And then finally this one. And then I think that guy on the left is still alive. No, he's not. I killed him earlier. I don't know who's left after we kill this one. Am I being tracked? I don't know what's happening. Oh, one of my gearboxes is dead. That's what's happened. All right, three, two, one. You're dead. Nice. Okay, I think that is actually it because um, usually this map is bugged out. The last person isn't actually a person. So there you go. Anyway, for now, um, I think I'm happy with this. <laughs> I think I'm happy. We worked out a few kinks. We give it a little bit of a bigger gun so it can get through the enemy uh, armor, and it actually worked. So, 
I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.